This is mobility as manifested in a Mercedes. The A-Class, CLS, S-Class, and all the rest. But the upmarket car maker is, as ever, souping things up a little more. New advances on the engine, ride, and safety fronts. Curtain airbags and cornering light are considered nothing special today, but once upon a time they were likewise just a vision. And here are some new visions from trusty Mercedes engineers realized in the flesh. This is the F800. The F-Class comprises vehicles for research purposes, explains Herbert Kohler from Mercedes-Benz. They give designers insights into likely developments in mobility over the next five to eight years and what technology will be involved. The F-800 style was preceded by 12 similar prototypes beginning in the early 1980s. The F-100, unveiled in 1991, premiered autonomous cruise control which was given its commercial launch seven years later in the S-Class. The F300 Lifejet from 1997 was designed to replicate the rideability and cornering abilities of a motorbike. Its successor, the F400 Carving, boasted further improved drivability, of course. The focus then switched to the drive source. 2003 saw the birth of the F500, and the foundations for the hybrid vehicle. The F600 Hygenius, meanwhile, showcased fuel cell technology. In 2007, the F700 combined the advantages of gasoline and diesel engines, resulting in the DeSoto engine. And the new F800 marked a world first in engine technology. Its all-new multi-drive platform gives buyers the choice between an electric drive, including a fuel cell, with a plug-in hybrid. The drive unit of the hybrid is a 300 horsepower V6 gasoline engine and a hybrid module with 109 horsepower. The S400 hybrid is already in mass production, but whereas its electric motor only supports the gasoline engine, the F800's electric motor can power the car by itself for up to 30 kilometers. What's more, the batteries can be recharged via a regular household socket. The other version with a fuel cell has four hydrogen tanks built into the chassis, good in terms of both the interior space and safety aspects. The biggest challenge, says Stefan Krull from Mercedes-Benz, is always to create a fascinating, modern and genuinely innovative vehicle with the right design. The F800 also had to seat five people, which it does. They wanted a high level of efficiency in terms of both aerodynamics and the engine. He's very happy with the results. And what they really wanted as well was a very evocative and fascinating design product and a great car. Even getting into the F800 style is a comfortable affair. The rear doors are fixed to the body with a swivel arm and smoothly slide out and to the back. Plus, there's no B-pillar in the way. All in all, a very slick customer. And once you're out on the road, the driver is assisted by an enhanced distance sensor system. A stereo camera monitors events 50 meters ahead and relays its information to the traffic jam assist, which can follow the car in front, even around curves. The car can drive itself up to a speed of 40 kilometers an hour. As for the controls, an infrared camera tracks the driver's hand on the touchpad and transfers the image onto the display. The aim is to minimize driver distraction and maximize ease of use. It's still not clear when Mercedes will be incorporating all these innovations into production models. The new generation of the S-Class, at least, will be optionally available with the new plug-in hybrid.